Welcome to the Fox One Corp series of training videos. I'm Dave Springford. Please visit me online at www.foxonecorp.com for all your glider supplies. In this video, I want to look at the layout of your moving map or navigation screen. If we use the bottom right knob to enter the short menu, we can rotate down here the layout. And right now we can see it's in set position. So if I rotate the knob, it allows me to move where this navigation information is located. I can get larger numbers with one click. I can move everything over to the right hand side. I don't really like that location because you can have a, a flap tape or a speed tape in there. And we can set it back to its original position across the bottom. So either this first one or this second one are probably preferable. I'll go back to the first one. So now that we've set the position, the next thing we want to do is we'll push the bottom button again and we can set the count. So how many of these boxes are we going to have? We can have zero boxes, we can have one box, two boxes, three boxes. What information do you want to display? So set content, now we can determine what nav box or what information we're going to see. So in waypoint mode here, what I probably want to know is something like, what's my distance to the waypoint? See if we can find that in here. There we go. Distance to the waypoint, 34 kilometers. Then I want to know, and I saw that down here with the other one, I want to know my there we go, bearing to target. So I have distance and bearing and for the third one, various things that you can set. The other, the other good one that I saw was an arrival height. There we go. Arrival altitude. So you could set arrival altitude. That'll tell you how high you're going to get to your destination above ground with your safety factor. Or you can set required altitude. And required altitude will give you the actual MSL altitude you need to get back to your destination at your safety height. So one of those two is good. I think I'd put required altitude in here. This tells me from where I am right now, I need 3,023 feet to fly that 34 kilometer distance. That is how we can set up the nav boxes on our navigation screen. The boxes on the task screen can also be set. They don't come out the same as we have on the waypoint screen here. So if we go across the task screen, we can see that it still has the original values, not what we amended things to. So again in here, short press. We'll go down here to layout and set position. We're going to leave it where it is. So we're going to click once more, set count. I'm happy with three. Once more, now I can set the content. So on my task, what information do I want to know here? So one more press and we can look at the various options that we have and see if we find something that makes sense for task flying. So I recall all the task stuff was at the bottom of this list. Here we go. So we might want to have something like the task remaining distance how much do we have left to fly? And then down to task here again. Set this maybe a little bit like the uh, LX9000. I can set task required L over D. And then I can set my achieved L over D in here somewhere as well. Uh, current glide ratio. There we go. Now when I'm flying the task on the moving map, I can see how much distance I have remaining, what L over D I require to make it around the rest of the task, and what L over D I'm achieving. These might not be the best options for task. You may still want to have options for the intermediate point, the waypoint that you're heading to, such as the distance to that waypoint. However, I think most people when they're using an S80 or S100 probably have an external display like an UDI where they're doing most of their navigation. So this is just backup. Get out of that. 
we'll just click on this middle button for quit. And now we're back to our regular map screen. Hopefully you've learned something about the S-Series of Varios today. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them in the comments section below or send me an email. And visit me online at www.fox1corp.com.